Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to my review of the anime series Your Lie in April. Um, welcome, my name is Aiden. We do anime reactions, we do um, gaming stuff, and recently we just completed Your Lie in April. So, customarily, we uh, do a review and some final thoughts on the series. If you're new to the channel, feel free to check out the reaction series, full length timer based uh, reactions um if yeah if you're new um but yeah i i really enjoyed this series i enjoyed it more than i thought i did or thought i would um and i already had like pretty good expectations since everyone uh everyone i seem to know enjoyed the series so um what impressed me the most honestly though was the almost the technical aspect of this series how it was shot it's always awkward for me to say how it was shot since, you know, they're not actually using a, a camera. <laughs> they're, like, animating it. But it was extremely stylish to the point of, um, like, high-quality camera work in movies. Which I don't think you usually see in anime a lot. Um, there's definitely, like... I mean, like... And not, like, I don't think it's, like, a necessity in anime. Like, a lot of animes I love have have good good animation good shots but this was like creative in a sense there's a lot of cool perspective shots and i uh, it, it's really my thing as someone who likes to watch a lot of movies so i was really impressed with that aspect of it um i enjoyed the ost obviously it is a music based series um, and i enjoy the classical music but i'm i'm even talking more about um just the just the the like OST not not when they're playing the music like there's some some really good songs um which which I'm not playing in this video just in case it copyrights right but but like I I thought they did the music very well you know they also had a couple um lyrical song inserts into the animation process which i i liked i love i love uh lyrical song inserts in anime <laughs> it's, it's one of my things that i and i love when they do that and they did it multiple times so that was good animation style um was also very pretty at times a lot of 3d cg but i think major the major the majority of it was mixed pretty well they went for like almost an ultra realistic thing because like the piano the bench was cg but they looked like almost realistic which was really cool i know 3d cg is a hit or a miss for a lot of people i i personally don't mind it as much and i think this is very well mixed i think pri primarily it um to incorporate 3d cg in in an anime it's best used in the background mainly and like mixing it well like it's it's used a lot in like sci-fi stuff just for like stuff that's hard to design in a 2d version and i think they did they, they did a, a lot of justice the only like very noticeable parts were, were when they did um cg on the hands were like the ultra the <laughs> the ultra the most notable parts but even then even though it was a little um distracting they did it just to show off the actual piano work now i don't play the piano but i assume um i assume they're playing correct i mean if they're not then it wouldn't really make sense but i assume they like they want to show they're playing the correct notes and to properly show that they actually have to do 3d cg just to like emulate piano playing better so very good tactical uses of cg and in general, very well mixed. And the animation style is just pretty good. Again, also stylish with some, uh, mixing some stills in there. And just in general, a very beautiful show. Story-wise, was also very good. Um, if you've watched my reaction, you know, I, I had one gripe in the story where, um, where I thought Watery and Kyrie's relationship felt a little overplayed for what it was. But the ending definitely uh, changed that. <laughs> the ending like, really fits that. and uh, Just making it a solid story. Yes, the story does f um, does follow some similar beats to other Japanese drama stories. Um, you know, 
Um, but I have to say, during my reaction, there were a lot of times where I thought something might happen, and I gave, like, a list of choices. Or, um, not choices. List of, um, possible outcomes I thought that might happen. And there, there was a handful of times where I was wrong, and it was just something I didn't think was happening. So it was pretty unpredictable for, a almost a classic drama story of someone dying. Or, like, a school drama story of someone dying. Because there's definitely been stories like that before. But this one's very well executed in the writing. Making it almost feel like a unique experience. Um, characters. I, I love the characters. Um, Tsubaki was my favorite character. Kayori became a super strong character for me, though. After, uh, by the end of the series. I, I liked her a lot. Um, almost, like... As much as Subaki, to be honest. Um, Kosei was a strong lead. Watcher, probably the weakest of the cast. Um, but he filled his role as well as as you could, I think. Emi, Takeshi with great rivals. Um, favorite meme character has to be my girl Koharu. Always, always dripped out. <laughs> um, she was, she was great, um comedy relief and had uh, like one kind of deep moment nadi was fun too the nadi arc was good uh, interestingly enough when i was i was looking something up about nadi i'm not gonna say it because it's stupid um <laughs> but and i was wrong about it but whatever um but then i saw some questions people asking what was the point of the nadi arc i because it is a little it is a little out there but i think the obvious answer was one, to develop Takeshi's character, and two, to develop, uh, to show, like, Kosei, who was, you know, at the start, not playing piano, inspired by Kaiori, who, who wasn't exactly a teacher per se, but pushed him to new heights, and now it's showing how much Kosei has grown by taking Nagi and pushing her to new heights, where you couldn't really imagine that, like, a couple months ago when Kosei started, so... Even, like, side stuff like that, I think they executed well enough for me to, uh, at least interpret it in, in what they wanted to do. Um, voice acting, I mean, I'm not the biggest voice acting guy. I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good job, though. No real, no real complaints, no one annoying. Um, openings, endings, I've said this a lot in my reactions, but if you haven't heard, I do prefer the second opening and the second ending over the first set, even though the first opening's kind of more iconic, I think. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, what else? Any negatives? I don't, I don't really have any negatives, to be honest, besides Vatry being underdeveloped. Like, more underdeveloped than, uh, than even, like, Nagi, who was just a, a new character in, like, the last quarter. Um, I wish I saw a little bit more of him. Even though they did fit my issue with the watri Kyori relationship, I still would have enjoyed, like, five, ten minutes more of them together, kind of making their relationship feel a bit more real. Um... Because even though it did feel off, I think if they, the more they made it feel real, the more it would have hit harder by the end of the series. Um, but honestly, like, I don't really have any complaints. <laughs> it's just, it's just a good series. Um, I guess personally, the high school drama story, like, I, I enjoy them, but they're not my favorite story. And that's why... This wouldn't, like, elevate to, like, my favorite anime, despite me having no real big critiques of it. Um, I didn't... I mean, I enjoy dramas. I just enjoy um, maybe a bit more of a mature setting for them. But, I'm not discrediting this at all. This is a great anime. Like, I, I don't have, like, a list... Well, Aiden, you did, like, a top ten anime list. I know, that was, like impromptu okay <laughs> i haven't like really like thought it out too hard but this would definitely be like top 20 at least i think this was like really good um favorite moments i mean ending was really great the subaki confession first confession was really great the mother resolution performance thing was really really good the episode after that with subaki 
And they didn't like, you know, when she runs off crying, that whole episode was really good. Lots of, lots of memorable moments. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I think that's all I have. All I have, all I really have is, uh, is praise for the series. It's great. If you haven't watched it and you're just listening to this, and I think I've been like vague enough not to, uh, spoil anything too much. I would definitely recommend watching it. Even if, um, high school dramas isn't your cup of tea. I think this is probably like peak, peak level high school anime drama. So I would at least give it a shot. I think it was very good. Very sad. Did not cry. Did not cry. I'm immune. I'm, I'm a heartless monster. Okay. But there's definitely cry, cry worthy moments. I will, I will admit if you tried no shame. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I got. Thank you for listening. If you haven't subbed, please consider subbing, you know, anime reactions. We do that a lot. Um, you know, we're starting a brand new series soon. And before your line, April, we did a bunch <laughs> every Hidrashi story. Um, some action-y stuff. We don't really have too many similar stories to your line April on the channel yet, but we do have high school drama anime movies, I guess. Like, we have, uh, words bubble up like soda pop, your name, ride your wave. And, um, even though I missed May, the May movie, um, because I was kind of busy, the next movie coming... Sometime in June will also be a uh, sad. Well, actually, I don't know if it's high school drama, but sad drama stuff. So, I think I don't I don't know actually, but because I haven't watched it, but yeah, similar content, different anime stuff, etc. etc. So, yeah, consider subbing if you haven't. It it makes me happy. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video, and hopefully, I'll see you again in a future episode or future video series but yeah thanks have a great day bye